don't forget, write your date and or hours, or both on your filter. Right here I know, 135 hours. Oh, would you look at that, 236, I'm an hour over. It's just an easy way to keep track without having to look in a book. Hey folks, welcome to K6 Outdoors. I'm your host, Kyle. I see a lot of comments on the tractor videos, you know, like the one here to my right, about various items. One item that stuck out to me specifically is regarding maintenance. I'm also part of the Emax Max Tractor uh, Facebook page. I'm actually the admin of that page. And in that same group, I see the same questions pop up. And one of them specifically comes to oil and oil changes. Now I choose to use Shell Rotella. Usually I use the semi-synthetic or full synthetic. At the time, the synthetic blend was what was available for the best price, so I picked it up. And I use the Wix filters. I cross, you're able to cross-reference. And to get you there, the 51356 is the filter. The XP is the heavy duty, it just has a little more filter media in it for heavy duty long-term years. I can't talk for heavy duty long-term use. And that is generally what I use. Now people will talk about if you don't use Mahindra brand oil that you void your warranty. Well, I'll tell you this, when I've gotten oil from my dealer, it wasn't even the Mahindra brand. And they've even told me that as long as you use what's recommended by the book, that's all that matters. This specific Max tractor takes a gallon. So this much oil to fill it up. Having that slightly bigger filter, you're gonna need maybe just a skosh more. This depends on your capacity in your tractor. Obviously there's a little bit of pluses and minuses there. Um, and I do have some extra left over here I'll be able to top it off with if that's the problem. Now in regards to what kind of oil you should use for this tractor or really any tractor in general, we're gonna hop into the owner's manual of this tractor and look at what it has to say. Now what I've got pulled up here on the screen is the owner's manual, the digital version of the owner's manual for this tractor. I will put a link down below where you can find this. You can type in all your information and get to it. But this specific tractor recommends between a 5W20 and a 20W40 oil. And a single weight oil, you can go between five and 40. Um, I think generally a multi-purpose or a multi-grade oil is gonna be what you're gonna to wanna to use. And it's probably one of the cheapest, easiest ones to find. It needs to be API classification CF and it needs to be heavy duty grade diesel oil. A couple recommended oil brands on the right side here. And most notably the brand that I use, the Shell Rotella T15W40. And this specifically is the Shell Rotella T5 synthetic blend 15W40. So again, looking at it, heavy duty diesel oil, triple protection plus. So, I mean, it's got triple what it's supposed to have, right? If you look at the back of here, it says meets API service CK4, CJ4, CJ, CI4+, CDI4, CH4, and meets the performance requirements of Caterpillar, ECF3, ECF2, Cummins, EES, Ford, Mac, Volvo, SpaceX. Maybe not SpaceX, but the point being, this is a compatible oil. So that's what we're using. It's a good price oil, and I've had good luck with it lasting for the 100 hour intervals that they, they talk about. Now this is only the third time I've changed it because I did the break in oil and then the, the 135, 235. So anyways, I've had good luck with it and we haven't burnt, you know, it's keeping the engine in good running shape and you can feel the viscosity still in oil when you change it. So that's what you want. So for those of you that ask, check out your owner's manual. It'll give you specific guidance on what they recommend you use. And there's quite an array of stuff that you know, meets the best specifications of what you need to follow. Same with the filter, in my opinion, and to many as well, Wix is the industry leader in filters. There's some various videos of them cutting them apart to show you how much different they are or how much better built they are than the others. I mean, not all filters are, are created equal. Um, and I am using, again, the XP, which is a little bit uh, more extended life filter. Just gives, your, gives yourself a little more protection there for the long-term run. And it was the same price and it's what Amazon had in stock. While I mentioned that, check out the links down below, the affiliate links, but where you can pick up some of these filters for this tractor, maybe the oil I'm using. If you guys use those links, it does help support the channel. I get like three or 4% commission, depending on what you buy. So just keep that in mind as you're doing that. Helps me out a little bit to create some of these videos because they aren't free for me to make. 
you know, it takes me a lot of time and effort to do this. I also know that a lot of you that watch the channel are not subscribed. It costs you nothing to subscribe. So if you guys find this stuff informative and helpful, just hit that subscribe button and follow along. I'd invite you to follow us on the journey here. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and let me know what I can do to improve this stuff. Because the point of this channel is for myself to learn this stuff the hard way so you don't have to. And, you know, share along the way. I'm not going to bore you guys with the oil change itself. If you guys want to see how to change the oil, check the link down here below or I'll put up here above. Of you no, know, me changing the oil on this tractor is pretty straightforward. So I'm not going to repeat it again. The point of this video was to go over you know, what fluids and filters am I using to, to maintain my tractor and to help you all out and maybe making some of those decisions yourself because there's way too many options out there. I find Shell Rotella to be a good reputable brand that, you know, that makes good quality oil. And you know, specifically in the heavy duty diesel, they have a lot of good additives in there that keeps these bad boys running at tip top shape. Because diesel is kind of a, you know, it's not as clean of a burn as gasoline and they do get stressed quite a bit. You know, you're putting a lot of hard work onto these engines. This is a good time just to remind you, if you're not cut up on your maintenance, get yourself some fluids, get some filters, get some oil, get out there and get it done. It's not gonna do it itself. For the most part, you take care of your equipment, it'll take care of you, and you'll be a happy equipment owner, tractor owner, you know, ex excavator owner, backhoe, whatever it may be, take care of them. Do your normal maintenance, and you'll be surprised at how much that makes a difference. Thanks for stopping. Hope you guys enjoy the video. My name's Kyle. I'll catch you on the next one.